Vitamin A and keratomalacia. Now these two terms are very closely related. Ask me why? The reason is very simple. The deficiency of vitamin A will cause keratomalacia. Now, we move on to the etiology of keratomalacia. Look at this small kit. The keratomalacia often affects the individuals or basically kids who are younger than one year of age, basically the first year of life. And often this condition is going to be bilateral, which basically means that both the eyes are going to get involved in keratomalacia. The eye signs include corneal insensitivity and corneal dullness and it, the cornea undergoes necrosis and it appears that the cornea will melt away now once it melts away we call it keratomalacia right now the characteristic feature of this particular necrosis is that there is going to be absence of characteristic inflammation keratomalacia need not essentially be a separate thing it is often occurring as a result of various precipitating factors for example, it can occur secondary to systemic illness, such as measles. It can also occur as a result of pneumonia. Or it can occur as a result of severe non-contractile diarrhea. So those are the various precipitating factors. Now, owing to the apathetic condition, the eye will not be able to close at all. Now, as a result of which, the cornea remains open, right? Most of the time it's going to be open, which means it is open to infections. As a result of it, there's going to be secondary bacterial infection, which occurs, complicates the condition. Now, the treatment of keratomalacia is very important. Once a diagnosis of keratomalacia is made, it is considered a medical emergency or an ophthalmic emergency. The child is immediately the child is immediately hospitalized and based on its age we give retinal palmitate and oral dose the retinal formulation now i have nothing to do with the calls and company i'm just saying so vitamin a is supposed to be given in the form of retinal palmitate now it is to be given orally now in case a child is less than six months of age we give 50,000 international units in case the child is between 6 to 12 months of age or it is either less than 8 kgs we are supposed to give 1 lakh international units whereas a child who is more than 1 year of age or who is over 8 kgs body weight we give 2 lakh international units now if in case the there is persistent vomiting or profuse diarrhea we suggest to give retinal palmitate in the form of intramuscular injection. Since keratomalacia is a potentially harmful thing, care must be taken in order to prevent it. For instance, one can take orange colored food substances like carrot, papaya. Now these two are really very good, good sources of vitamin A and pretty cheap as well. Apart from that, green leafy vegetables can also be given. Supplements can also be given in the form of codfish oil, cod liver oil, halibut liver oil as well. As a quick recap, vitamin A deficiency causes keratomalacia, which typically occurs in the first year of life. And cornea is dull and insensitive. It is necros and it gives way. That is, it melts away and there is no inflammation at all. Precipitating factors include measles, pneumonia, and severe diarrhea. Treatment, keratomalacia is an ophthalmic emergency. Retinal palmitate is given orally. Other, other preventive measures are taking carrot, taking green leafy vegetables, or papaya. Cod liver oil can also help. Thank you. If you enjoyed my video, please click that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bar in order to prevent